Eamon Holmes has been encouraged to take a break from his GB News presenting duties as his health battle continues. The presenter, who hosts GB News morning program during weekdays alongside Isabel Webster, vanished from their breakfast show on Tuesday, leaving her to present the show alone. The Northern Irish star has been in chronic pain for almost a decade following a grueling double hip replacement in 2016 which was not as big a success as he hoped. Three slip discs caused him agony in 2021 and he had a fall downstairs in his Surrey home following spinal surgery. It comes weeks after the 64-year-old and his wife Ruth Langsford, 64, announced in a joint statement they would be separating after almost 14 years of marriage. The pair, who used to host This Morning Together, first met in 1997 and were well-loved by ITV viewers. Following Eamon's on-air exit yesterday, Rochelle White Communications exclusively told Express that he should take some time away to rest and recuperate. She shared, I feel his body is telling him to slow down and relax. Doing live TV can be adding more pressure and stress to his body, she stressed. I feel it would be best to take a step back and come back in a phased way but also, if there are opportunities to do smaller presenting and jobs, that could also be an option. They added, I feel he has a loyal fan base and they would want him to get and be better and maybe not be on TV. Eamon disappeared during an interview with mental health minister Maria Caulfield at around 7.45 am on Tuesday. He returned to screens this morning alongside host Ellie Costello, with the pair discussing all things general election 2024. The veteran broadcaster even opened up about his health, telling viewers, I have been basically disabled for a year and a half or so and I have to have a career to do the smallest simplest things and it's humiliating and humbling but thank goodness that careers are available. Eamon made his first public appearance last week at the TRIC Awards 2024 in central London, but he skipped the red carpet and questions from reporters.